Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paul Leo Jr. And today I wanted to make uh, a very simple video on how to not only create a podcast, the, well, the easiest way to create it, but also how to share it on different platforms. And this is a very simple and easy tutorial. There is nothing complicated here. And there's really, there's really only one thing that you need to do if you want to get your audio out there but before I get into everything I do believe that you should always have I, you should have a YouTube account where you are recording the video obviously the video and audio together and then uploading it onto a YouTube account so after that so you want to have definitely want to put it on YouTube and I didn't know where to start at first and now it's very simple the first thing, what I, what I, after searching a little bit, what I found was a service, and you can go to anchor.fm. It's also available uh, in both app stores, so for, the, for Androids and iPhones. But I prefer doing it on the computer just because it's a, they're both simple, but I just like having the bigger screen, seeing everything in front of me. So this is my main page, anchor.fm slash inner circle podcast the inner circle podcast uh, with my cousin and myself where we talk about technology movies video games you know anything that's going on so and you see down here it says more places to listen you know Google podcasts all that good stuff uh, radio public but so what the first thing you would do is obviously create an anchor account you can do it on your phone or you can do it on the computer and from there, after you've created your account, you have, you create your title name, you put in the description of your podcast, and you create a thumbnail. From there, you would start creating episodes. Now, this is the better way, this is the better way to do it. But I will, I'll show you, there is a better way to do it, but I'm going to show you real quick how you can do it through Anchor. Now, Anchor will actually submit all of your podcasts to all these different platforms. So, I mean, you know, it'll, it brings it to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, you know, Radio Public, uh, Overcast, and then there's one called Castro. There's a ton of them, and we're all, and our podcast is on all of them just because we submitted an, our episodes to Anchor. So you can go to new episode, and from there, you can record an audio right from your browser or from your phone, and upload it here, put in your description and all that good stuff, your title, description, and from there, Anchor will take it and start submitting your podcast to all these different platforms. They will not get submitted like the podcast. The other platforms won't get it immediately, so it might be a couple days before you start getting emails saying hey you've been accepted to to this one and to this one and to this one so but this is anchors where you want to put your audio files obviously youtube is where you want to put your video files so but anyway this is the other the other one here now it's zoom.us from here you can download this pro you know create an account download the program and what I'm going to do is actually open up Zoom for you. So here you're going to see exactly what I'm going to do here. So here's my here's my account in Zoom. I want to create a new meeting. And Zoom has a ton of other beneficial features as well. So let's go in here. Let's close this out. And from here we can invite uh, participants. So by whatever, or deep, by just uh, your regular email, you can copy the URL by your contacts, whatever you want to do. Once they receive that link, if they have Zoom, then they can get into they can get into this uh, meeting, but th you know through Zoom. But if they even if they don't have Zoom, they can get into it through their web browser, which is pretty cool. So I'll take off my glasses here. Uh, bah, bah, bah. So this is actually very simple. Uh, so what I, what I typically do 
is I send an invite to my cousin. I send it through Gmail. He gets the link, he opens it up, and then we have a split screen here. So it's not just me. So he would be on this side, on the left side, and I would be on the right side. And all you have to do after that is hit record. Now I am actually going to mute the audio just so it doesn't interfere with the screen recorder I'm using now. So let's just say he's in here for whatever reason. I hit record. Okay. You are muting. Okay. Continue without audio. That's fine. I'm going to do this and then meeting audio may not be. Okay. That's fine. So I am unmuted. I mean, I am muted. So from here, uh, we can start discussing whatever we want to discuss. If we if something happens during the video, we can pause it right here. Okay, everything's paused. We collect ourselves, we get back together, and then we jump right back into it just like by hitting that play button. You can have a chat on the side just like that. And then you can also share things on your screen that you're using. So I can share, once I click share, I can select to you know, share, uh, you know, Google Chrome here. And if there's something in the, vi if there's something in the browser or whatever you're sharing and you want to share the sound, make sure you select share computer sound. I really wouldn't use this because it makes the text in the web page look awful. Unless you're playing just a clip, that's when you select this option. But I would always have the share computer sound option. You go from there and then I would click share. And so let's share this screen here. And you see what happens up here. Right now I'm over on this right, the top right up here. I'm sharing the screen, you know, with other people, you know, going to whatever I, whatever I want to share with. And then from there I would hit stop share and go back into this. So pretty, pretty simple. They have a lot of other cool options as far as video settings and all that. So let me stop this so we don't make this too long. And so let's close this out and meeting for all. And what's going to happen is Zoom is going to encode what I just recorded. And the cool thing with Zoom, this is why I definitely prefer using Zoom is that it gives you not only the video file, but also a separate audio file. And that's what I would use to upload on Anchor. So you would go to Anchor and you would upload the actual, uh, audio, just the audio file, and then put in your description and so forth, your, your title and description, then submit it, and then it'll every episode that you put on anchor will automatically update to the other platforms there might be a slight delay and some go right away to the other platforms and some might take a day even two days tops but usually it's roughly a day is the absolute longest it'll take so now you see there a folder just appeared up here and now what I have I have my video file that I just recorded that you guys saw and then I have my .m4a file and that is my audio file. So that is what I would use to play. This is what I would use to play on or to upload on anchor.fm. That's why I really like Zoom. So that's why we use it and I hope this helped you. <laughs> so the biggest the biggest thing to have, obviously, is the Anchor, is having the actual Anchor FM, Anchor.FM account. Create that account, and once when you want to start recording a podcast, that's where you use Zoom. So where, even if you're just doing it by yourself, it is easier that way, but especially if you're having a co-host, who is not in the same room as you, obviously, would be, that's where it gets easier. So now you two are right next to each other and 
you do what you got to do record upload the audio file to anchor and then upload the youtube you know the video file to youtube obviously and that's really it anchor is great because it submits all of your it submits your podcast and all of your episodes and all of your your future episodes to you know 10 plus other platforms including apple podcasts and google podcasts so and it doesn't take that long for them to do that but it's really good to point people to your anchor.fm account because that's where that's where that that's the main place that you're going to be uploading your uh, your audio podcast files and you know if you are using a web browser it will tell them hey these are other places for you for them to go to so uh, but that's really about it just make sure you have anchor dot make sure you have anchor you go to anchor.fm and make sure you have zoom and just go to zoom.us and it's really that simple I promise you I would highly recommend getting a decent uh, a decent webcam that records at at least 1080p and a and I'll put a link in the description for the microphone that that Chris and I both purchased which was which is only fit it's only like 49.99 and sounds so much better than a, the microphone on a webcam so uh, I hope this helped you guys if you have any questions put them in the comment section down below but if you are looking to start a podcast just get anchor create create an anchor and account and create a zoom account and you'll be good from there zoom also has a ton of other features that you can use including enhance um, your video quality and also you can use a green screen in zoom as well if you wanted to so you can have a, a video uh, background which is pretty cool so uh, but yeah that's all I have I hope I explained this the best I <laughs> hope I explained this well I hope it was simply put but um, enjoy and um, yeah like I said if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and I'll do my best to help you out because it's a lot easier doing it this way than submitting your podcast to 10 different places every time you upload every time you have to put up a new episode but all right guys thank you very much and I will see you in the next one later